got to be a nice compliment for you is that uh, a lot of young people, a lot of fans of yours are dressing up as you. Mind-blowing. As, as one of your two characters, and they've got a choice. They yeah. can either be Chloe. From Don't Trust the Bee. Right, or, or they can be uh, Jane your character. Jane from Breaking Jane Bad. Jane from Breaking Bad. I cannot believe that I am two Halloween costumes. That's got to be fun. It's crazy. So if I get lazy this week, I can just go as one of my characters right. on the show. I've tried going as myself on Halloween. It doesn't even work. It's really sad. They think I'm a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> so pale. No, I'm Conan. Whatever. Uh, you, um, I mean, any, any costumes? I, I know that usually shows have a Halloween themed, uh, you know. To yes, the, we have one this are you, week. Are you gonna wear a costume on that show? I have four sexy costumes, of course. Yay. I am um, a sexy bus driver. Um, no? I, no, no. I, I didn't mean a sexy bus driver. It was just like low cut and tight. Oh, whatever. oh okay. I was a. I you know, was, like Ralph Cramden. Yeah, like on the honeymooners. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was a sexy parakeet. How do you do that? Um, you know, tight again. Um, just like tweet. But I also had like you know? a giant head. Uh, and then corset and right, short. Right, right, right. It, it worked. It, um, it was trust so me, <laughs> I'm, I'm behind all of this. I think it's all. <laughs> Wait, the parakeet had a corset? Yeah, it was oh. pretty much just like red slutty right. outfit with parakeet heads. Okay. So pretty much all you can say is I'm slutty Ben Franklin? Yeah. You, know? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can name works. any character, yeah. yeah. Um, let's talk about your character Chloe uh, uh, on Don't Trust the Bee. She's very sexually free, the character. Yeah. Yeah. But you yourself personally are get squeamish yeah. even when you, well, uh, yeah. really? Oh. Uh. I don't like having to um, kiss strangers. So when they have an actor playing like a, a handsome dude yeah. who's on the show and you've got to kiss him, that, it makes you squeamish. No, I don't like kissing strangers. I don't know where their mouths have been. I try to like do something really sneaky. I'll have like a makeup artist slip them a mint or give them a toothbrush after lunch and just say it's protocol. Um, blah. It's so gross. I mean, that, that's how you get mouth herpes. <laughs> Kissing a bunch of strangers. Like, they, that's how you get herpes simplex, too. I'm sorry, I don't want it. Um, so I don't, don't want to kiss any strangers. You're making me feel very differently about these sexy scenes. Yeah. I just ruined it for you. You just ruined everything. Yeah. Now, I have noticed on the show, you're just about to kiss a guy, and you're like... <laughs> Uh, you know, it's like, so you, you, uh, you, you have people go up to the guy, whoever he is. Do you have yeah. any say over which guys you're kissing yes, on the show? Yes, yes. Oh, that's the fun part. So, um, <laughs> since I have to, like, make out with so many strangers, they bring in eight by tens of actors. And then I just go through and pick out all the ones that look like male models. And then I have, like, a whole, you know, selection of boys. When it comes up, they know who to pick. That's like, you're like Cleopatra. Hey. You're like, it's awesome. bring me that one over here. I'm sorry, men have been doing this stuff for years. I'm enjoying it. No, I, hey, I'm not <laughs> objecting at all. I, I love your female audience. All the guys, we're just all trying to figure out how to get into the binder. Uh, <laughs> put this picture in. You're like, you're looking through, ah! <laughs> how did American Ginger get in there? <laughs> Um, because you, you know, one of your co-stars is James Vanderbeek, and yeah. I, I love this premise. He plays himself. Yeah. He plays James Vanderbeek on the yeah. show, and you're and and you're 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 talking a lot about possibly having a Dawson's Creek reunion. reunion. Yeah. Is that something that it's a rumor that's out there? Sometimes you guys have toyed with that idea. Yeah, it's a rumor that's out there, and I thought it was just like crap. I thought it wasn't true. Right. And so everyone started asking me about it, and so I had the idea that Katie Holmes should come on and play my love interest. Your, Katie Holmes play your love interest? Wouldn't that be fabulous? People, I mean, everyone would tune in. Do you think she'll do it? Maybe. I think we'd look good together. She's also tall. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think everyone's saying yes. <laughs> they want to see this happen. I think we're getting a general reaction of yes, this would be good. But do you think she would do it? I don't know. I mean, who knows? James would have to probably call her up. No, on her. I better call her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> quite influential in this town. Um, don't Trust the Bee in Apartment 23 airs Tuesday nights at 9.30 on ABC, and I love it when you come on the show. Thanks for having me yeah. back. Thank, are you kidding? What are you talking about? You're fantastic. Next time I'll bring you presents, I promise. Yeah, during the commercial break, the band was playing, and you leaned over and went, what happens during this part? And You're I said- You're not supposed to tell people that. I, I, I like to let my audience in. Don't you want to know? <laughs> Listen, so the, the band's playing. The band's playing, and Kristen Lee's everyone goes, what happens during this part? And I said, this is the part where you give Andy and I the presents you brought us. <laughs> and for a second, you were like, what the hell? 